Greetings and salutations, internet friends, and welcome back to another episode of the First Time Film Club. My name is Emily, your titular first-timer. This is Matthew, my husband, Cinema Sherpa, and viewer-submitted title, Crooner of Movie Facts. <laughs> you look, cause, oh, yeah. yeah. Um, I like it. Yeah, that one was submitted by Timmy. Uh, thank you, Timmy, for that. You two can submit your uh, Timmy? title. Timmy, Sorry. Timmy. <laughs> <laughs> can, you can submit your titles in the comments below. Uh, just use hashtag title. Makes it easier for me to find them. Those of you who are new to the channel, hi, welcome. What we're doing here is watching our way through a very long list of movies that typically I have never seen that Matthew, however, has. Mm -hmm. That being said, Matthew... What are we watching today? Today we are watching the 1990 action comedy, The Adventures of Ford Fairlane. As per usual, I only give you the uh, name, title, and genre. You go in with whatever you already know about it. You let everybody know what you know, then we watch it and review it. So, what do you know about The Adventures of Ford Fairlane? Uh, well, the first thing that I know is this one was actually sent to us by friend of the show, mod slash admin, uh, just great human being overall that has helped us out a lot, sort of from the early on. Um, they requested that we watch this for their birthday. So happy birthday to that particular mod. You know who you are. And I'm excited to see this just because it was sent by uh them uh other than that though i know it's i think i think it's like he he's a rock and roll detective i don't know what that means but that's why i picked this title because i was like rock and roll crooner okay cool yeah it works <laughs> um for some reason like i've seen the the image you know the dvd that they sent us my brain <laughs> I'm afraid this is probably not going to line up, but I thought like Ace Ventura. Uh, I don't know. They gave me that vibe. Um, Was it the hair? A little bit. Okay. Yeah. Uh, and okay. Because pet detective, rock and roll detective. Uh -huh. that, then my brain went there. Um, it's, it's I know it's Andrew Dice Clay because I saw that name on the DVD. I don't know that person. Um. I don't know any other movies that he's in. I don't know who directed this. I don't know the premise. I don't know a lot. I'm sorry. So basically, you only know what you've read off the box when you glimpsed at it. Yep. Okay. Yep. I got it. I got <clears throat> this all figured out, y'all. Well, okie dokie then. <laughs> uh, with that being said, uh, one last thing for new viewers. You may see me with my phone in my hand during the movie. That's because I am taking notes on things to talk about after the movie. And with that out of the way, I'm ready to watch. Are you? Yeah, uh, let's do this. Let's rock and roll. <laughs> let's just watch the movie. <laughs> Rennie Harlan. Does that name sound familiar? Yes. Okay. They call me Ford Failing, rock and roll detective. I have the power to get into the hottest club. Wayne Newton. I admit it all sounds pretty nifty in theory. Then why am I here? Why do I wish the music industry and the rest of the globe... Morris Day! Oh no. Is that supposed to happen? Sure. Oh dear. The audience can't see for all the pyrotechnics. <laughs> uh oh. Uh oh. I don't think that's supposed to happen. And making my entrance was unbelievable. Oh my gosh, this guy. What is this? <laughs> what is this accent? <laughs> oh. You got an airbrush jacket, huh? All right. No, bitch. <laughs> Get out of here. A Zippo holster. Sport failing. Your money. Mr. Rock and Roll Detective. Guy couldn't find an animal on a coffee cup. And what are your names? Neil and Bob? Is that like what you're doing? Ah! 
You better have that Zambuka milkshake ready. Here comes Mr. Rock and Roll Detective. Harry, shake me. Zambuka? Especially that lead singer. What's her name? Uh, drawing a blank. Josie! Oh no. Oh no. No. Last dance! Mr. Rock and Roll Detective! What's happening? Something from our wine list. Uh. Uh huh. Excuse me a moment. <laughs> what is happening? Is this? I got questions. Please tell me this movie isn't taking itself seriously. Clint Eastwood. <laughs> I f them. Find out who killed the link singer of the black flag? What makes you so sure he's just not another piece of shit overdose? Gut feeling. Gut feeling, huh? They say your tone, you know I love Oh the Sam the Sleaze Bag. Sam the Sleaze Bag. <laughs> Jazz. That's the bastard who flashed us at the amphitheater. All right, Sam. We're gonna let you go, okay? What? <laughs> you stupid Sal's pizza, garlic breath smelling mother. Today is the last day of the rest of your life. Wait, what? <laughs> uh -huh. He said what he said. As payment for a job well done. Well, money's fine, really. Bye, Ford. <laughs> You're a <our> hero. <laughs> How is he your hero? He just let your. You're a terrible detective. Okay. <laughs> What are you talking about? He found the guy. You go. Good day. They say it's worth three grand. No Australians. Is that some kind of giant mouse? Down, down, and eat. Did you not expect a koala bear to be in this movie? Hi, is this Chevy Nova? Is this the car I want to speak to? <laughs> <laughs> well, I got a case for you. Well, they want is it a leather case or a vinyl case? No, it's a case. Oh my god. Yeah. Bitch! <laughs> what are you gonna do about this watch? Keep it. It's your paycheck this month. What about last month? Come here. Come here. I want to tell you something. Come here. Come here. Eh? Eh? Unbelievable. <laughs> Bitch, I don't pay my rent! What? <laughs> Here we are, still in Los Angeles. Two rock and roll dicks. Only you're the detective, and I'm just a regular dick. <laughs> She's my daughter. She she calls herself Zuzu Pedals. All right, she's my sister. She's my daughter. She's my sister and my daughter. Look at the picture and find her and bring her back to me. Four thousand dollars. Someone shot my engineer. Hey. I'm being electrocuted. It hurts. It hurts. <laughs> mm. Well, so much for your pay dirt. What? Nice time. What is his name? Lieutenant Anus, sir. Are you calling me an asshole, asshole? I'm calling you an anus, anus, but if you prefer. <laughs> How many assholes are on this ship? <laughs> Ed O'Neill. Ed O'Neill, that's. Why do you hate me so much? Why do I hate you? I give you a hint. Two words. Disco Express. That that single, that real shitty single. Booty time. Booty time. Booty time. Across the USA. Booty time. Booty time. Hey, hey, hey. Booty time. I mean, I'm very rich. The kind of rich that warps minds. Nothing offends me. When I was 11, I walked in on my father and the Shetland pony he gave me for my 10th birthday. <gasps> that excite you? I don't know. I never met your father. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Why? Why is there... Um, God, I need you to so find my smoky little sister. in there. She goes by the name of Zuzu Petals. Petals, yeah. I'm going to take it all now. 
Is that real money? <laughs> <laughs> Legitimate question. I was just discussing bleaches with my good friend, Dot Mooney. Who? Oh. Oh. Wow. That transition? That was, was bad. <laughs> And the, the, like, obvious slide, like, oh, it was, woof. How, how does Grendel Records sign such a wick brick, eh? But then again, Julie Grendel thinks mm. Jethro Tull's one of the Beverly Hillbillies. <laughs> ha! My mother always said that you can't say something nice about someone. Make sure they're out of the goddamn room. <gasps> is Wayne Newton gonna have to choke a bitch? <laughs> Anyway, this Kyle Troy person is the next big thing. What is this asshole smiling about? <laughs> You're killing rock and rape and roll, man. I mean, guys, uh, work with me, huh? Do you know how much it costs to have what? You can't just bust. I got a '65 Cadillac. Got women to the left of me. I got chicks all around me. I could have been a rock star if only I wasn't banned from MTV. So the name of the boat was gonna be something different from his personality. Mighty penis. The dumb bastard got involved with something or someone he shouldn't have. Bitch. Nope. Yep, just close it. Just close it. <laughs> A bada boom. <laughs> Why was he trying to scare me off the case and who's he working for? Why didn't you ask him? You're so bad at your job. <laughs> I don't need money. What I need are questions answered. Question number one. Can I have some money? <laughs> oh my girl. Yo. <laughs> <laughs> Bada boom. Just take this. <gasps> oh, hello, Ford. <laughs> I'm hip. I'm hip. If you have to say it, you're I, not. Yeah, <laughs> I wasn't sure. I'm. Eh. <gasps> say hello to my assistant, Jazz. Uh, yeah, that's just disgusting. Shark is served. <laughs> I'm such a big fan of shark meat. It's really not good for you. It's very high in mercury. You've been eating a lot of shark meat lately? No, because <laughs> it's really not good for you. What's the matter with you? Just puked in my mouth. Jazz, what I say? Come on, chicks. Some people play hard to get. I play hard to want. You're, you're a champion. What? You're a champion. You don't want to take a crack? <laughs> crack him in the balls with a. Just me and you tonight, honey. I'm so befuddled by this. Kangaroo situation. Kangaroo? What'd I say? You said kangaroo. Oh, I didn't mean to say that. Koala. So Zuzu Petals was a groupie of Bobby Blacks. All right, it's 100. Each, come on. How many dicks do you have? <laughs> I'm so confused. You ever see this chick around? Is this a trick question? Zuzu <laughs> Scared. Help me. The baby a simple thank you would suffice. You. Thank you, girl. Yes. <laughs> oh. God, I love this job. Uh, of course. Hey, I got another call. Hold on. Come on. Get my second 
This is such a hard watch. <laughs> Really know how to party. Oh. <laughs> Zuzu Petal? Don't talk to me anymore. Just close your mouth. Yes, please. Yum, yum, Tiwi! Talking to Zuzu was like masturbating with a cheese grater. Jesus Christ! <laughs> Talk to me, honey. Come on. That's it. Keep chewing. No, don't. No, please. Just die. Don't. My axe! Where's my dad? Have you even looked for him yet? I've got some leads. You're a liar, man. You don't care. Oh, he seems nice. Shut up. Just, just shut up. Please. Hey, the boys in the garage brought my baby back. Sorry. All right. Hey, you need a lift? Yeah. Unpoor. The sisters are going to die. <laughs> That's too bad. That's too bad. That's too bad. That's too bad. That's all you can say? Yes, Ford. That's about all I can say. <laughs> Jujubee, Salcedo, Ford Fairlane. Yeah, I agree. Oh. What? What was <laughs> the point of that? Dudes, they executed my vet! They tried to get this worthless CD for me, but I had it hidden in a special place. Look, I have one. Bobby gave it to me the night that he passed away. I don't need no CD to tell me Colleen Sutton's behind this whole thing, all right? I'll be at Julie Grendel's. Julie, baby, what's... Queen Colleen. It's like the DVD player doesn't want to play this DVD. <laughs> Oddbox? Julian smuggling Oddbox into the country. Art money, stupid. <laughs> Three CDs? Shit. Just start torturing me, man. I'm not gonna torture you, Ford. That's something else entirely. No! <laughs> That's the same sound your koala bear made when we hung it. My God. Shit. When I say now. You run for the door, okay? <laughs> Not the greatest plan, but hey, the old gum on the earring in the socket trick never failed me. I'd never even tried. No! That was a very convoluted plan. A business where anything can happen. And usually does. <laughs> Average now, Tuesday. Now that's a good tour guide. Yep. Quick on her feet. The ring! The ring! The kid! It's the kid's father! I can't! Oh man, this is just so bad. Say hello to Liberace, asshole. That was a good one. This is... This is rough. On so many levels. You know how much that thing meant to you. <laughs> the DVD player keeps skipping and that's the funniest thing about this whole movie. Could you tell us how to get to Man's Chinese Theater? I'm back to Michigan, asswipe. Oh, we're from Wisconsin. Yeah, and I'm from my dad's penis. Get out of here. 
I mean, aren't we all? Wish there was alcohol in this. <laughs> I'd like you to meet the voice of the 90s. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, yeah. Kyle Troy. People who have heard me sing call me the voice of a generation. <laughs> no. Songbird. Songbird, that was it. First, why don't you tell me why you're ripping your own company off? I read Billboard. I couldn't believe how much Grendel Records made and how little Julie Grendel got. Anybody that tells you they're in this industry because they like music is a lying, pathetic piece of shit. Or a total idiot like this Kyle Toy or Troy or whatever the hell his name is. Oh, <laughs> poor baby! Well, Mr. Rock and Roll Detective. Oh, no. Bless him! Shake me, Jazz. And I got a baby. You're fired, Julie. Oh. <laughs> I don't know. Man just got burned alive. It's pretty brutal. I mean... <laughs> Harboring a fugitive fort. You're going down. Sexual favors won't help, baby. Because it's booty time. Oh, booty time. Booty time. Well, see, now you just assaulted a police officer. Booty time's the only white disco song as far as I'm concerned. Yeah, there's a lot more where that came from, man. I'm listening. Booty time, booty time, across the USA. You know, if you weren't that kid's father, the ring, man. I stole it from some idiot that I strangled last year. The point is, I want to go out man to man. Just me and you. Put down the gun. Let's go. Oh, please shoot him. That's not a knife. <laughs> I mean, who's a, look, look what you did. Man to man, mano to mano. How does mano to mano mean? At least things can't get any more depressing. So, <laughs> did you find my dad? Well, he died, but he loved you a lot, and he wants me to take care of you. Come on, put it there. <laughs> I got a heavy. I'm quitting. This man. I love you. Oh my God. It paid dirt with K dirt. Hey, hey! You've just won the K dirt million dollar giveaway! No shit. Hey, you can't say shit on the radio. Oh shit, now I just said it. <laughs> My love stands on golden sand. Why? Uh, you didn't really think we'd kill the Walla Band now, did you? Oh uh, my god. Look at this. The sun, the sea, on Oh, thank God. Is it over? Yeah. Oh! <laughs> so, that was the Adventures of Ford Fairlane. Overall thoughts? Bruh, I did not care for this movie. <laughs> sorry! I'm so sorry, but... I... Um... Let's see here. Yeah, just be honest. Um, <laughs> I like the costumes. Uh, like, cause you know, late eighties, early nineties. Like, that's always fun. That's always interesting. Um, did not care for the character Ford at all much. Yeah. Like, so I think it's. I was. I think it's small doses. I can appreciate that kind of. Oh, bada bing, bada boom, you know, whatever that is. In small doses, it's like, ah, okay, that's funny. But over an hour and a half. It's too much. It's a too much. Okay. It's too much. I was very interested whenever you said we're going to be watching the adventures of Ford Fairlane. My first question was, do you know who Andrew Dice Clay is? No, no. And then I got really interested, like, to see your reaction to this of uh, the dice man <laughs> so like i enjoy raunchy humor 
I just, I don't know. The delivery was whack. Like, the of the whole movie, not even just him. I was just very befuddled by a lot of choices. Like, all of the characters were super... Like, not even two-dimensional. They were just one. Like, super okay. flat. There was no... I, I didn't care about what was happening. I guess that was that's that's the big takeaway. And I definitely did not care for him. Like he was just, it was <laughs> so over the top. He's an acquired taste. So it's like I get that this was very much like intentionally over the top. You know, like I get it. But there's a point where there's like a tipping point where it's like no longer like ironically funny. It's just like cringy. Um, so that's kind of where I was at with this with this whole movie. Um, I got you. For me, it never went one way or the other because in the beginning you asked, "Is this a serious movie?" Yeah. And like, it would be serious. And then it would be kind of like slapstick, yeah. almost like winking at the audience. Kind of, but it never went fully in one way or the other. Uh -huh. Like at the end when he said, did you really think we killed a koala? Yeah. Like if it had leaned way more on that side of it, it would like yeah. not taking itself. At moments it took itself seriously, then at moments it didn't. So it couldn't figure out. <laughs> yeah. So I, I had a moment in the, there was like the bar scene where they're, they're finding Sam the Sleaze or whatever they called him where he he did something some like sort of physical comedy or whatever comedy and i just had this realization i was like oh my god this character is if like the three stooges had a baby with rodney dangerfield or whatever his name is you know rodney like dangerfield is that his name yeah okay you get um, no respect and get no respect point uh, in case you know <laughs> case in point yeah that too uh i just I, I don't know, man. Like, I can appreciate that some people find this entertaining. I just happen to be not one of those people. <laughs> That's fine. Uh, yeah, as as with uh, as with most movies that feature comedians, mm -hmm. have, uh, comedians who are like the star, the lead of the movie. They always try to find little ways to like work in some of their stand-up bits. Mm -hmm. That's why I was really interested to see, because you had no idea who Andrew Dice Clay was, yeah. anything about him. So I was really interested to see your reaction to him, because that's kind of his shtick, his uh, his gimmick. Is just like kind of... This very this like... Macho... Ma machismo, crude, X-rated comedian. Okay. So... I, I don't know. It's it, the combination of things that he is about just did not. His recipe of comedy did not land for me. I guess so. I I don't think that I will be looking into any of his stand up. I was. If this yep. is like his bit, then it ain't for me. There, I understand that because he's never been like, never been my my uh, my style either. But yeah, so that's that's kind of my overall my overall vibe. You know, this this movie wasn't quite for me. Uh, kind of like you said, I don't think it's really my style either. Um, but what about notes? What do you have? Uh, when the movie started, you saw the director's name come up, Rennie Harlan. Yeah. And you said that looked familiar. Uh, the only movie of his of his that I know for a fact that you've seen is Deep Blue Sea. <laughs> He's, he's done it. <laughs> sorry. I'm sorry. Go on. He's done a lot of movies. <laughs> you good? <laughs> I'm just... I'm sorry. Things are falling into place. Like, I'm I'm seeing... I'm... All right. Go on. <laughs> are you thinking to the How Did This Get Made Yes, I am. Episode? I'm 100% thinking about that episode. Yeah. Um, but yeah, okay. All right, cool. We're in yeah, he's, he's, gotcha. done, he's done quite a few other movies. <laughs> uh, so you saw uh, Robert England. Mm -hmm. Oh, Freddy. Yeah, Freddy. He, his, uh, his character Smiley was originally supposed to be played by uh, Billy Idol. But uh, Billy Idol had to drop out because he was in a uh, motorcycle accident. Oh, okay. So Rennie Harlan 
who worked with Robert England on a Nightmare on Elm Street mm-hmm. movie. He already knew him. Asked him to step in gotcha. and do it. So that's how Robert England was uh, got his role. Got roped into this. <laughs> I wasn't going to say it. I don't know. Uh, then there was Priscilla Presley. It was, mm-hmm. you, you know, from the yeah. Naked Gun movies. Yeah. yeah, this is the only other uh, theatrical movie that she's been in. Like she's done else made for TV kind of. Yeah, so she's done some TV movies, I think, and some TV shows. Mm-hmm. I'm pretty sure she was on Melrose Place at one point. <sighs> there was a lot of, like, I mean, Tone Loke had Morse Day. Like, this was... Oh, yeah, there's a lot of, like, I, musicians. Yeah, like, it was just kind of caught me off guard a little bit, but... Um, it was very interesting seeing them all in this in this particular movie. What else you got there, Hoss? Uh, Andrew Dice Clay wanted Howard Stern to be the shock DJ for uh, Godfrey's Gear. Ma- makes makes sense. sense. But uh, he auditioned. He didn't get it. Went to Godfrey, which I think <laughs> it's hilarious. Was great because his it's just a quick throwaway thing but it's one of the funniest things in the movie to me it's when he when he left the uh the uh, message on ford's on ford's answering machine uh-huh he, i can't remember i can't remember what car he said he's like is this the chevy something and he's like is this the car i was hoping to speak to oh Just, a ford oh okay i see i got you well yeah he's named that car is a ford fairlane yeah ford fairlane drove yeah he's named after the car that's <laughs> but I, I get the joke yeah i get it now that Thank you. It's just a little <laughs> quick little joke, but like, is this the car I was looking to speak to? Uh, the I'm being electrocuted. That was actually pretty funny to me. Um, you know, broadcasting specifically what was happening. Yeah, I think this might have been like right around the height or as as Andrew Dice Clay was starting to like be a big thing because, mm-hmm. I mean, at the time, like uh, shock DJ like Howard Stern, mm-hmm. like nobody heard anything like yeah. that. Yeah. Andrew Dice Clay kind of had the same like, shock value. <laughs> oh, he was banned from MTV for life. Yeah, he said that. Yeah, I wrote that down. He made a joke about it in the movie, but that's true. Oh. Andrew Dice Clay was actually banned from MTV because they, they, okay, this is on, this is, whoever decided this at MTV, this is your fault. That's, <laughs> okay. yeah, y'all know this man. You knew yeah. what he was about. Yeah. Exactly. You and let this happen. <laughs> it was at, a, uh, I think, an MTV uh, Music Awards, and he was presenting somebody, and he came out, and he did, like, some of his stand-up. Mm-hmm. He said some things. Uh, some live some things live that shouldn't things. have been said live. <laughs> yeah, at the time, yeah. Well, like, at the t- you can't say shit on the radio. Shit, I said shit. <laughs> and that's one of the things he said. Uh-huh. Uh, it was actually one person who is one of my favorite comedians, George Carlin, had a bit about the the words set, you can't the say the seven words yeah. you can't say and he said a couple of those mm-hmm. he, you know he said shit and I think tits on MTV during do, his presentation you can't do that so yeah that got him a ban I think it was lifted later like years later but at the time at the time was, it was they yeah. were like no you can't come back but again whatever executive or whoever signed off on that at MTV that's on you here's the question what did you think of Andrew Dice Clay physically like did he look fit did he look fat what do you th- i mean he <laughs> just looked like a regular dude like he didn't look like obese and he didn't look like he was a you know muscle builder what's that called is that what that's called like he didn't look like stallone or arnie no like, yeah he, wasn't he wasn't like power power lifty man only reason i ask is because i read a thing about uh the producer joel silver who has produced yeah, so much stuff. Just to in say, that name's very familiar. Like a couple of, several of the movies we've watched, mm-hmm. like uh, all the Lethal Weapons, uh, Predator, Forty Eight Hours. Mm-hmm. Just lots. <sighs> yeah, way, way, way too many to name. I read a thing that he he almost like pulled the plug on the movie, almost like withdrew, because he thought Andrew Dice Clay looked fat. <laughs> That's his reasoning. It's Hollywood, baby. Of all the reasons to pull the plug on this movie, that would not have been mine. Uh, but, I mean, I guess Hollywood gone Hollywood. I mean, that's that's most of what I know uh, and what I've read. 
Did you want to talk about anything else? Do you have any favorite moments? Any least favorite moments? <laughs> and you can't say the whole movie. Honestly, like my least favorite, like the, the, this is so stupid. But like the overall, I, the koala was dumb as shit. Like, I don't even understand the purpose of it. Like, it was so stupid. You say dumb, stupid. I say genius. I, I'm just like... <laughs> if there's one thing you're going to remember about this movie, it's a koala. You you know what? <laughs> Truché. You're right. You're right. Oh, that's that's going to be my gotta go. I hear a mountain lion. <laughs> There was just a lot about this movie that I did not care for, and but I liked the outfits. The end. <laughs> <laughs> That's my right. hot take. I'm sorry. I guess it's time for us to rate it. All right. Um. So would you say that watching this movie was like masturbating with a cheese grater? Just. <laughs> I mean, that's a pretty apt description. That was another one of my favorite jokes. That was that was a pretty good one. Um, Seriously, with her chewing that gum, I, uh, just, I was ready for it. Yeah. To go. I, so, look, this is going to be rough to say, considering we watched The Room and Birdemic and a few other, you know, rough to watch movies. I came so close to giving up on this one. Oh, wow. I really wanted to turn it off. When she started <laughs> smacking, that was just kind of like <laughs> the last straw. I was just like, just power through. It's going to be fine. So I say that as a preface. I give this a three. I did not care for this movie. I got and... you. Yeah. It's not, it's not my favorite. It was oh, probably like 14 or 15. I watched it more. I probably probably only seen this movie like maybe three or four times. Mm-hmm. That's way too many times. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'll give it a four. I'm gonna give it an extra point just for the car, the Ford Fairlane. Okay. I thought you were gonna give it that extra for the koala. <laughs> okay, four point five. Four point five because koala of point. the koala point. <laughs> oh my god. Because yeah, as I told you, you're gonna remember that koala. I've only seen the movie, yeah, maybe two or three times, and it was a long time ago, but I definitely remember that koala hanging from a ceiling fan. I, I do feel like maybe I could rewatch this in a group setting with adult beverages. Um, like, like maybe it wouldn't be as bad, but I don't want to test that theory anytime soon. I do. Uh, <laughs> But yeah, so that's uh, that's that. Uh, what three and a four point five? Mm-hmm. Is that where we're at? Um, I think that's gonna be about it. Unless, do you have anything else? Uh, no, I'm good. Oh, Pippin did a little stretch. Um, well, guys, if you liked the video, please make sure to like the video and <laughs> let us know in the comments. Do you have any favorite parts? What's your least favorite part? What would you rate this particular movie? Interested to hear y'all's commentary <laughs> on this. Um, oh man, this is like is nineteen right at the beginning of the nineties. Yeah, Oof. so it's a whole it's a whole vibe. It's a whole vibe. If you aren't already, please make sure to subscribe to the channel so you can stay up to date on all of these Summerlin-based shenanigans. And as you don't have anything else and Pippin's already stretched, I think we'll call it a day. (laughs) All right. And we will see you guys next time with another first time. Bye. Oh!